So the Dallas Stars will face off against the Colorado Avalanche, and this will be a lot of fun to watch. I apologize for the audio. I'm kind of fighting a cold, the reason why I'm not doing clips. I kind of want to get this out before games. I slept through most of the day after the game last night. I was not feeling too good. So Dallas Stars play the Colorado Avalanche. The Avalanche, after beating the, the Winnipeg Jets and shattering my prediction uh, of the Jets actually finally breaking through, they played really well, and Georgiev... He struggled mightily in that first game, but while I'm not going to say he was amazing, he was good enough to get them the win. And the Stars, uh, you know, they're coming into this series with a guy like Jay Gottinger who, who played extremely well. Jay Gottinger had, just for goalie comparison, a 1.95 goals against average and 9.25 save percentage. In comparison, Georgiev had a 3.04 goals against average and 8.93. You know, it's really kind of come down to depth in this series where the Avalanche just destroyed the Jets defensively. Uh, they really made them pay for their mistakes. I think just watching these first rounds, Dallas is going to be far more responsible and actually take their assignments. Uh, the Dallas Stars beat a Vegas Golden Knights team that, yeah, they are a wild card team, but on paper and the and the personnel on the ice, they would you could easily consider them one of the best teams in the Western Conference. Uh, you're gonna have a lot of firepower, and I think this is gonna be another series that goes seven. You know, you had some standouts. Johnston uh, led the point scoring for the stars up front, but you know, the, kind of the beauty of it. Robertson had five. Ben had three. Uh, Dead on off. Uh, three, Sagan, three, Duchesne, two. Uh, you know, there's people on this lineup that I think will hit another level, like uh, Rope Hints, I think, in this next series, has to be more impactful. Uh, needs to be more productive in getting on the board. But um, the, the beauty of the Dallas Stars roster is because they have so much depth, they can afford maybe a guy or two to have an off series. Uh, but I, I expect them to turn it up. And then on the back end, you know, just get in. I uh, apologize. Hayes, Harley, uh, Lindell, Tanev, Suter, uh, Lundquist. You have some good guys on the back end um, that, you know, if you're going to go comparison wise, I think the Dallas Stars in comparison to the Avalanche are just a little bit deeper. But the top end talent, like McKinnon, Rantanen, Nachushkin had a crazy series seven goals for seven points. See, he didn't want to get any assists. He was like, all right, I'm, uh, it's already unfair enough. The Avalanche were so explosive offensively. Uh, you know, like an in middle stat had eight and six points. Uh, but where you do see a little bit of a drop off is when you start going down that third and fourth line. So that's going to be something to watch. Um, and as for the defense, I really do like the Avs top four. Taze, McCarr, Gerard, Mason. Uh, you know, Jack Johnson uh, is what he is at this point in his career. I do like Sean Walker. I think he can be, you know, steady back there. Uh, but if Georgiev can keep giving them a average to above average goaltending, I see this series going seven uh, for my pick. I'm going to pick the Dallas Stars going seven. I just think they're a little bit more deep, a little, bit more, a little deeper. Um, I like their goaltending situation better. Uh, while I would say if you're going to say who has the better top end talent, I would say the Avs with McCarr, McKinnon, Rantanen, I mean, even Nechushkin with the three first round series. I think the Stars overall lines one through four, deep pairing one through three, and their goaltending, uh, I think their depth will be their strength, especially in a hard fought series like this. But I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Who do you think will win this series and how many games? I've got to Paul. See you in the next one. Again. Sorry for the audio quality. <laughs>